so this here is the pile that I put together for my 14 year old daughter she is our only child besides our three-year-old golden retriever which gifts are in this bag here I'll go over that probably in another video or maybe at the end of this one but I wanted to start to show you what I am putting in her stocking this year again she's 14 and we do not have a big Santa gift like we always did when she was younger. We would always put out a unwrapped gift along with her stocking from Santa. So this here is gonna be a little different and I'll show you what I'm gonna be doing. The first item, she is still into stuffed animals. Her bed is full of them and I thought this would be a cute addition. Her and her friends after school have three major hangouts and so I thought I'd get her a few gift cards so that she has them when uh, they go there after school. And the first one is a $10 to Chick-fil-A, a $10 to McDonald's, a 15 to Panera. Every year I do the Hershey Kisses. I feel like it's not Christmas without the Hershey Kisses. I love them myself. And a mini razor kit. This is a brush that I don't know much about, but this was on her Christmas wish list. She does have long hair, it's very thick. So I hope that helps her with brushing it out well. Pez, another Christmas must have. I thought this was cute. She is into makeup. And this is just a makeup sponge. This is her favorite dry shampoo. She is in need of a refill. This is a candle lighter get out of the packaging. This is a candle that I I got her this year. I get all the ladies in my family every year candle. This is the one I chose for her. And the lighter, which is rechargeable, can bend any way that you want. And you press this after you're turning it on. And if a little fuse goes, a little spark, and you can light your candle. It's really cool. So I bought about 10 of these to give it out this year with their candles for the ladies. She had asked on her wish list for a new pair of Crocs. So this is, I think they call it a giblet, and that's her initial. This is my favorite from when I was young, bazooka gum. Another wish list item, a lip liner from NYX. This I found because I know this is her favorite mascara and it was a little gift set for a pretty good price at Walgreens, I think it was. This is another thing that reminded me of my childhood. She loves dum-dums. Who doesn't? It's so cute.
This is a sample that I got with a perfume order um, that I placed for her. It's Prada Candy. Chocolates. More chocolates. These have been her favorite ever since she was a toddler. I get them every year. This was on her wish list, and this would go with your mascara to get the clumps of mascara out of your eyelashes. I thought it was a really good idea because I'm tired of seeing her do it with her pencil. Maybe that will save her eye. This is a nose ring. She has her nose pierced. And this is a hoop. She's never had a hoop and she's always wanted one. So I found this on Amazon. This is that perfume that she had wanted that I got the free sample with. It was actually a little set. I'll find the other piece. It's a Victoria's Secret bombshell. A bag full of Reese's that I divided between her and her father. They are both big fans of Reese's. And then this is the Bombshell Victoria's Secret perfume. Just the small travel size one. And then the highlighter. Okay, so I want to go over the gifts that I got her. She is 14 again, and she is a freshman in high school. And she has been getting really good grades and we're super, super proud of her. So her and her father um, kind of had a talk and we decided that if her grades were good, then she would get a new iPad. And she has wanted this for a while. She does not have one. And we're hoping that this will help her with school. She is wanting to go into law. Um, and I'll do anything to support that. So that is her big main gift this year. To go with that, this is actually a sweatshirt that I found at a thrift store. And she has a couple Harvard sweatshirts. I mean, the not sweatshirt, but she has the tops. And the tops, she cuts this part out. And it kind of drapes over her shoulder as a nightshirt. And I really love this one. This is the school I'm rooting for. <laughs> um, but right now she's 14. And she says she's never leaving our house. So she wants to go to... UCF, which is here in Orlando, Florida. And so this is the Knights hoodie that I bought her. And she is going to love this. She had some items on her wish list. I'm going to open this real quick. This is a Nike hoodie, and we live in Florida. She wears hoodies 
all year long. I don't know how she does it, but she's always in one. So I got her three this year. Um, and this is the one that was on her wish list. Actually, I got her four. There's another one that's on her wish list. Um, and this is the Nike one that she really wanted. These are the Crocs that I had mentioned before. They're just your basic black Crocs. I think the only others she has are in white. And I don't know, I'm not a fan of Crocs. I think they're absolutely ugly, but she loves them. And then this is something from me personally. I had this made actually on Amazon. It took a long time to come in, but it's a plaque for her desk. I'm just gonna kind of cross out her last name, but her name, first name is Kira and it's a plaque and it says Kira, future lawyer. And it's really nice, really, really nice. She's gonna love that. And I got her with this, a law book, um, but the law book from Amazon has not yet arrived. So, but it's just a paperback book um, for beginning, uh, beginning of, you know, wanting to look into law and such. This is a shampoo that I found at Ulta. Like I said, she has long, thick hair. Unlike me, I have really thin, stringy hair. Um, maybe it's because I don't use the best shampoo. So I'm going to, uh, I actually got myself one as well, and I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna put these in both the bathrooms, but this one is for her. She loves getting um, the new shampoos and stuff from Ulta. This is another gift. This is from mommy, me just a gift that I get her every year since she was eight. So every year I get her a ring and every year they get too small for her hands because she is growing. Um, so most of them are baby rings that we have in a box that we've saved over the years. And this one is one that I put a little more money into and I'm hoping will last a very long time. I got it in a little bit of a bigger size. She could maybe wear it on her middle finger for now. Um, this is a ruby and it is her birthstone for July. Let me see if I can take it out and get a better visual. It's solid um, white gold, cubic zirconium, and uh, ruby. I love it, it's beautiful. These are gloves because she has started to work out. In our garage, we have a weight bench and she has been working out, but wanting to lift herself um, has been hard on her hands. So I thought these gloves would work out nice for her. This is another stuffed animal. It is so cute. I am going to cut this open if I can. I don't know if I can, but he is cute. He'll expand when I take him out. He's got a little donut wrapped around him. She's gonna love it. I don't know how much longer she's gonna like stuffed animals, but I hope for a long time because she doesn't like any other toys and it makes me sad. That's why I have a golden retriever with a bag full of toys. These are, we're not on her wish list, but I had got them anyways. And they are the black ups. And I got myself a pair in brown. And the last item for her is something that was on her wish list. And this is from a company called Brandy Melville. And 
Brandy Melville, from what I know, never has sales. And she had a lot of things on there that she wanted, but I grabbed one and sent some other ideas over to relatives, uh, maybe, for them to get her. But this is one of the, the hoodies that she wanted. Radio silence. I have no idea what that means, but she wanted it and she's going to be super excited. So that is it for the gifts I am getting my 14 year old daughter this year. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to go ahead and add on to this video what I got my golden retriever. I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back with the gifts that I got my second child, my three-year-old golden retriever, Maya. This is something that I found at the beginning of the season. And this was like at the Dollar General. And I went back the week later to get another one and they were out. But it's just a pillow. It's made pretty well. And that's what I'd look for when I'm buying toys for uh, my golden retriever because she will, these will be torn off. I can, I know that, but hopefully this will last long. She loves carrying around toys. It's her favorite thing in the world. It's like having a big toddler in her house. This one is a crocodile and it is made by Kong. I found this at a local pet store and it, these are really made pretty well. It will take her a really long time to get into this one. So she'll enjoy that for a long time. I did have to go through all of her toys um, and throw away a lot and make a pile of a lot of her toys and blankets that I am donating to the local pet shelter. Um, and, then they, and then I got some um, duplicates of some of these toys to donate to. So I just wanna make sure they have a Merry Christmas too. This is a little avocado I found at Ross and I got it for a dollar because I guess it was supposed to come with a box of chocolates and the chocolates were not there. She's gonna love this. This one, I think is gonna be her favorite because of the texture. Okay, she loves squeakers. I gotta figure out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You have to have one or two Christmas toys. Gosh, it's gonna be a tie. This or the avocado. Mm. Got a big old bag of dentist sticks. Definitely have to take care of Golden Retriever's teeth. But she gets some bad, bad breath. I found this one also at Ross. And I think it has squeakers. No. No squeakers. It is a rope though. A long rope with snowman heads. I thought it was so cute. I got this on Amazon. I've seen a lot of this on TikTok and such. And I thought I would give it a try. She's pretty good at other games that I've played with her. Um, I'll, I'll definitely have to post a video on how this one goes. This is something that I bought at clearance last year, and this is for me to make her paw print as an ornament. I think it's 
think this was Hobby Lobby clearance last year. And that will be fun. They have, uh, I bought two of these and I opened the other one and they do have the circle to make a small paw print and then a large paw print. Oh, got a Christmas reindeer. Cute, cute. This one I know has a speaker somewhere. A lot of these I found at Ross for, you know, under five dollars. These are her absolute favorite. She goes bananas for these. She can smell these from a mile away. So I've had to keep these in my garage until now. Um, but we will, we usually get the smaller ones that are little bite-sized ones. So we'll have to cut these ones up, but it's something about these that she just loves. And then the last thing I got, which I wanted to get her name embroidered on. Maybe I will. Um, I'm not gonna have time before Christmas, but I found this cute blanket. And if you have a golden retriever, you know they love blankets and they love their own blanket. They love carrying it around everywhere and snuggling in their blanket. And this is a gray Christmas one with reindeers. And I found this at TJ Maxx. I love it. It's so beautiful. So I wanted to um, find my uh, a new toy box. I was looking some for something that was made of solid wood that I could put her name in front of. Um, and I haven't found anything that's either big enough or sturdy enough for a golden. Um, if anybody has any ideas, maybe an Etsy seller that would make a solid wood toy box with a low level that a dog can reach in to get the toys that is solid wood that would fit all these toys and a whole bunch more. Let me know, please. Everyone have a Merry Christmas and I'll talk to you later.